Hey, it's Alex and welcome to Vegan with a Passport. Today, we are in Berlin and we are going to check out an all vegan grocery store and then afterwards, we're going to check out some vegan street food and also some vegan fast food. Let's go. First, let's go check out the all vegan grocery store called Vegans. And actually, there are three locations in Berlin. However, the largest one is in the neighborhood of Friedrichshain. And when I say that this is a vegan grocery store, I mean it. I'm not referring to some mini vegan market, but this was seriously a full-blown grocery store. When I first walked in, I was surprised to see a produce section and a buck section where you can buy oats, nuts, and seeds, and soy chunks in buck. Additionally, there were other items such as snacks, candies, beverages, items you can cook with. There were also your typical refrigerated items such as dairy alternatives, mock meats, there were even fresh pastas. There was even like vegan pet food and cosmetics. There also was a deli inside, but unfortunately when I visited it was closed at the time. Basically, it's a store that, as long as you aren't picky with your brands, I don't really think you would need to go to a larger grocery store. Also above the vegans, there is an all vegan leather shoe store and then next to the shoe store there actually is an all vegan sushi bar called Secret Garden. Not only do they serve sushi, but they also serve dumplings, curries, desserts, and a variety of beverages. My friend decided to order a sparkling apple juice and I decided to order the rose petal tea which came with goji berries and agave and it was so good. It's definitely the best rose petal tea I've had so far and my friend also enjoyed her apple juice. And then we decided to order some sushi. I ordered the Geisha in Love and Fujin's Tornado Taste and then my friend ordered two different sushis which had avocado and mock fish in it. Unfortunately, we were underwhelmed with our sushi. For my sushi, I needed the wasabi and ginger to really get any taste out of it. Otherwise, the sushi was bland to me and my friend said she did not enjoy her sushi at all. We just had high expectations going in after reading a lot of the online reviews which absolutely rave about this restaurant. So our opinion should not deter you from going as again most reviews are positive and our experiences were in the minority. I spoke with a friend and she said it definitely can be hit or miss and so I would have to try it again one day, it just isn't my top choice. So now, let's go check out some street food. Every Sunday, at least in the summer, in Berlin, you can find the Flumacht and Mar Park. Here at the Flumacht, you can buy new and used clothes. You can also purchase a variety of other items, such as antiques, home items, soaps, and the list goes on. Also, there is a street dedicated just for food. Also, there happens to be an all-vegan stand called Vegan Euros. As you can tell by the name of the business, you can probably already guess that they sell, well, vegan euros. They serve it in pita bread, but occasionally they will also sell it as a plate and will also sell hummus. I ended up ordering one of the euros in pita bread. And oh my goodness, it was so delicious and that tzatziki sauce was full of flavor that whole sandwich was absolutely delicious also at the market you can find an all vegan smoothie and juice stand but unfortunately the booth didn't have a name 
All of the drinks are natural, only using fresh fruits and vegetables, and none of the drinks have any added sugar. I ordered a mango and pineapple smoothie, and although there was no added sugar, it was still very sweet and very delicious and refreshing on a Berlin summer day. Now, let's explore another part of Berlin, and in the KCO Pyre Zomagarten, you can find an all-vegan falafel stand called Kikero. Not only does the stand serve falafel and hummus, they also have some specialty dishes such as kimchi falafel burgers, and the day that I went, they also had a Mexican falafel wrap. I decided to get my Mexican falafel on a plate instead of in a wrap, I decided to try the falafel and refried beans on their own. The refried beans by itself was okay, but it was delicious with the jalapeno peppers. The falafel was also good on its own. And when I mixed all of the ingredients together, the atypical combination was actually very delicious. And now I'm curious to know what other combinations of falafel they serve. I usually try to avoid fast food chain restaurants when traveling, however life happens and sometimes we're in a rush. So I ended up going to a subway and to my surprise they actually had a spicy vegan patty sandwich. You can also get your sandwich as a salad instead which is what I opted for. As with every subway I was able to build my own salad and they even had a vegan aioli sauce. I personally wouldn't call the patty spicy, it had a very mild kick to it, but despite that, the flavor was actually delicious. It didn't taste like a meaty sandwich, so don't order one expecting a meat replacement, but it was a very nice veggie patty. Also, the vegan aioli sauce was creamy and delicious. Also, I ended up at a Starbucks and to my surprise, they actually had a strawberry glazed vegan donut. And my friend and I thought the donut was tasty. I don't really recall tasting much of a strawberry flavor though, but besides that, it did have a nice sweet taste but wasn't too overpowering. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to stick around for part 2 where I will show you a vegan friendly neighborhood in Berlin. Until next time, bye!